it's the great Australian dream, out of reach for many, and even if you've managed to purchase a home of your own, rising mortgage repayments can quickly become a nightmare. If you think you're at risk of not being able to afford your home loan, there are steps you can take. The first being contact your bank. All lenders have hardship teams, which can be contacted through banking apps or websites or over the phone. Hi Katrina, how are you? NAB has 700 staff in its assistance team. What we find is that 90% of the time when a customer reaches out to us, we can get them back on their feet within 90 days. And what options are available to people? Firstly, it could be looking at budgeting. If things are a little bit tighter, what we can do is work together and have a really individualised plan that's tailored to each customer. What could that plan look like? The Banking Code of Practice lists options including agreeing to interest-only payments for a short period, extending the term of your mortgage to reduce repayments, or temporarily postponing payments. But these arrangements can leave you owing more interest over the loan term. To decide if it's worth going down these paths, there's another call you can make. Hello, this is the National Debt Helpline in Sydney, speaking with Peter. There has to be really a reckoning as to whether the ongoing repayments are affordable going forward. If everyone in the household is working full time, there's no real capacity to, to, to increase that and your situation is not temporary, then it's time for people to look and say, is this an affordable mortgage for us? I'm happy to run down what those might be. And if you've already missed a repayment, you might still have time to act. Oh, good on you for connecting with us. A lender will not regard it as a default, technical default, until it's 90 days past due. So as, some, as a repayment is approaching, say, 60 days past due, that's when they'll generally issue a default notice, um, and that gives a further 30 days to rectify um, the repayment. What kind of different areas does AFCA look at? If you're unhappy with how your bank has handled your request for assistance or missed payment, you can contact the Australian Financial Complaints Authority. If you lodge a complaint with AFCA, it does put any sort of recovery action on hold, while AFCA investigates the complaint and comes to a decision if that's ultimately what needs to happen. As interest rates and loan repayments have risen, so too have complaints to AFCA. In May, banking and finance complaints were up 42% compared to a year earlier. Disputes about financial difficulty, including those related to home loans, rose by more than 30%. In some cases, no matter the measures a borrower or a bank takes, there may be only one way out. At the end of the day, people are going to have to sell their homes. And most definitely, if people think that that might be something that needs to happen, banks should be allowing people to do that within a reasonable period of time themselves. Definitely not. No, look, if, if you're in a hole, uh, stop digging. If it's the case that the property has to be sold, in almost every instance it's better for people to take that step um, proactively rather than have the lender do that. The end of the home ownership dream, a reality many are trying everything to avoid.